the next client we have coming in is a Natalie Chandler. Now, the memo that we have from our secretary is that Natalie didn't really want to talk much. And so our secretary had trouble figuring out what exactly she wanted. But she did say that it was something about clients and blackmail. And right. I mean, in my experience with blackmail, it seems like, well, blackmail itself is a crime, but then sometimes the people that are being blackmailed are also committing a crime. Right. They want to cover up, and that's why the blackmail is effective. Right. And that's also why it's tricky for us. Right. Okay. Uh, well, should I go invite her? Yeah. Ms. Chandler? Hi, I'm James Noonan. Hi, James. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Hi, I'm Steve Rogers. Hi, Steve. How are you? Good. Do you prefer to go by Natalie or Miss Chandler? Um, Natalie's fine. Okay. Please have a seat, Natalie. Did you find us okay? We know it gets tricky coming up that hill. There are some wines, and sometimes people have trouble finding us. Yeah, no problem. I don't know. I know, we know where you are. I know who the competition is. Okay. Good. Very good. Um, well, you mentioned you know who the competition are. Does that mean that you're an attorney? Yes, I am. Okay, great. Well, then we'll go over a couple things briefly that, as you will know, they are important. Um, and we just want to, to make sure they're clear. Confidentiality. You know that everything you tell us is safe. You know that everything you tell us, we will keep between us. All right? Do you have any questions about that? You seem a bit hesitant. I've, I've got a, a lot of problems, and I'm really concerned about how this is going to play out. Um, now, we, we want to let you know right from the start that what you tell us is safe with us. The reason we bring that up from the beginning is because we want to encourage you to be open, to give us all the information that you can, to be honest with us. Because, as, as you know, the more you tell us, the more we can help you. Knowledge or information is really power for us as attorneys. So, so we encourage you to, to be frank and to, and to be straightforward. Do you have any questions about that? What I'm concerned about is, I mean, if... Your lawyers, you've got your own own reasons to to be uh, careful about your own reputations with the profession, True. and I'm really worried that the trouble that I am in is going to cause a rift between me and the profession, and I'm concerned about the way that you can handle that. Okay, that's a valid concern. And it's a very important, we know we've been through law school as well, we know that the profession is very important. It's an important part of all of our lives. But we want to ensure that we've dealt with some of this kind of thing before. We've dealt with lawyers that have been in trouble with the Bar Association before. As you know, we're not the judge here. We're here to help. And we know, we recognize that sensitive issues may come up. S issues that, uh, that a lot of people will be uncomfortable with. But as attorneys, that's what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And you came to the right place. You may have a lot of problems, and it may take more than one time with us to sort through them all. But we will sort through them all, and we'll come up with the best options possible for you, okay? okay. Uh, another advantage we have in this situation is that because you are an attorney, we have three legal minds at work here, right? It's not just the two of us trying to help you uh, make a decision that you're not that informed about. We have an advantage. There is an, an extra attorney, an extra legal mind here to, to help as we brainstorm. Okay. What about, I mean, this is a criminal problem. Sure. How, what, do you guys, what, do you, what would you guys do if the Law Society knocked on your door and asked for documents about my case? Sure. Well, in the United States, uh, uh, according to the, the attorney-client privilege, as long as we do what we need to do to maintain that privilege, which, for example, means that we don't have anyone else in here with us right now, then we can be compelled to, to testify um, uh, about what, uh, what you're concerned with. Okay, so we will we'll preserve that privilege. Uh, we'll do everything we can to make sure that everything is how, is how it needs to be. Uh, but additionally, as you know, we have a, a code of ethics, and, and Steve and I stand firmly by that code of ethics as attorneys, that we will honor the trust you put into us. And, and we hope that as we get to know each other better, you will you'll feel that you can trust us. What if they shut out with a subpoena? Now, just like James talked about, legally, evidentiary, we cannot, they, they cannot compel us to give up evidence against you unless it's about physical harm to somebody else or to yourself. Okay. So there's a, a few exceptions, but... 
we cannot be compelled, even through a subpoena, even by a judicial order, to give up information about the communications that we have. Okay. 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 All right. So, I, I mean, another. Do you have any other questions? Yeah. About that? What I if could it was harm to that. me? What if somebody was threatening to harm me? Um, then would you be? Uh, giving information to the police? We will be able to help you to be safe. We will be able to help protect you. However, uh, we, we work for you. We won't do anything you don't want us to do. If you feel like that will put you in greater danger, then you know, we'll make that decision together. We will give you the counsel and advice that we think will benefit you the most. But the reality is the decision is yours. We're here to help you make that decision uh, most effectively. But it's ultimately yours. Okay. 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 Anything else about that confidentiality or that privilege? Uh, no, I think um, I, I'll talk to you about what the problem is, and maybe uh, we'll see how, how we go from there. Okay. Well, you talked to our secretary a little bit. We got the memo. She told you that we bill out at $200 an hour. Mm -hmm. This meeting's taken care of, and after we get more information uh, from you about what, what the situation is, we'll revisit the issue of how much it's going to cost at the end. and. And going forward, okay? Yeah, because money is going to be a problem. I, I have a fairly um, expensive lifestyle. Okay. I okay. Could say. Um, so I am a little bit worried about how I'm going to pay for this. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a problem. As as we know more about uh, the situation, we'll be able to give a a better estimate of what it it might cost, and and so we'll go from uh, we'll go from there once we have some more information. Now, as we understand it, you have an appointment in, in approximately 25 minutes, and so our time is a bit limited. We wanted to make sure that uh, we're clear on, on how we want to spend this, this time, this next 25 minutes. Uh, the, the next thing that we want to do is find out exactly what happened. Okay, now, you, you'll notice that Steve and I will be taking notes as you speak, and we've provided pen and paper for you as well to take notes. If anything comes to your mind, anything you think of that's important, anything that you think of that you want to do yourself to kind of follow up on some things, we encourage you to write it down. We, we found that it helps us to remember things. That water is also yours and tissues to help you be comfortable if, if, you, uh, if you desire. Right? Um, after we, well, as we're taking notes, one thing we may be very specific about is names, right? When you bring up people's names. And the reason we do that is because we have to check and make sure that we don't already have a legal relationship with someone else. Um, because if we do have a legal relationship with someone else, then, then we, we will not be able to represent you. However, if that is the case, we promise to help you find very good attorneys to help you in your situation, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions about that? No. Okay. So after, after we find out uh, what's going on, the next thing we want to cover is what your goals are, what your expectations are. You came to see us, what you expect from us. We'll also let you know what we expect from you uh, as, as we move toward making a decision about what to do. Okay. And the last thing that we'll talk about is what your options are, um, okay. what kind of choices you have. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? No. Okay, well, we, we know that, that you're here because of something about clients, in, in blackmail, tell us about it. I have, over the last decade or so, built up quite a um, quite a strong criminal practice. And um, one of the things about criminal practice is you tend to spend a lot of time with your clients. And um, I party a lot my clients okay. and that my clients um, are pretty pretty big guys some of them are um, in jail for dealing drugs mm -hmm. and um, other things and um, I tend sometimes to party quite hard with these clients okay